come. Where are we headed? An archery range. The guy. She will never join us. Why did she turn against you? I took a risk sharing all I knew with her. When she betrayed my trust, I punished her. It must have been harsh. You saw what she did to the prisoners at Fort Nakayama. That was no mistake. That was a choice. And not the first time she's made it. We don't know it was her fault. You don't. I do. You have to climb to get there. You sure you can make it, Sensei? Oh. What are you waiting for, Sakai? You need a hand, Sensei? Not bad, Sakai. You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. Arrows, Mongo and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. Move it, Sakai. How many Mongols is Tomoe training? A severed head. Used for target practice. Sensei! Mongols here! Good work, Sakai. Resting your bow arm, Sensei? Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here? Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? I'll test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> now, where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. We catch her. Do not wait for me. Attack and keep moving, or you'll die. Do you plan to use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer.
practicing what Tomoe taught them. Murdering the innocent. Did you see a Japanese woman with these Mongols? I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the sensei. And the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. I taught a monster how to hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian, not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komoda. I've seen enough. I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai. Sakai. Okay. 
Any news of Tomoe? Travelers have been shot dead on the roads in and out of Yoshi Springs. People are afraid to leave or deliver supplies. You think that's our doing? Hmm. A few archers at strategic points can isolate a whole town. A tactic of yours when you were Clan Nagao's archery master. Tomoe was a good student. Too good. We're fighting your own reflection. We will turn that to our advantage. Come. How do you propose we find these archers? We think like Tomoe. We want to control movement in and out of Yoshi Springs. Where do we put archers? It would be smart to control the main entrance into town. Mm, people already avoid the main road. Archers there would be wasted. That path behind the inn? No. Poor cover, no clear lines of sight. You want to cover the largest territory with the fewest archers. A handful of men could shut down the road to the coast. Yes. I would want someone looking over the bridge into town. So would I. The road south runs along a high ridge. Perfect place to rain down arrows. Tomoe would agree. There's hope for you. Let's go hunting. What else did you teach Tomoe? I held back nothing. Including why you left Clan Nago? That's my secret. It was time to retire, and the hot spring suited me. You would never willingly retire. I see. So what's your explanation? My uncle said you became close to a commoner, and Lord Nago was forced to cover it up. <laughs> your uncle has... An interesting sense of humor. You weren't forced out? A samurai always has a choice. But do you regret giving up a warrior's life? Mastery of the bow is mastery of oneself. That we're getting close. Eyes open. Innocent travelers. Murdered. Let's help their killers follow them across the Sansu River. Go! 
All those innocent, dead. Tomoe has thrown everything away. Betrayed her people. She is a traitor because the Mongols offer power, wealth, status. Things denied her by birth. Tomoe knew she was born to a lower station than she deserved. Now you're being too kind. I understand how they think. But people who sow chaos must be punished. Your way sows chaos. In the enemy. Not just them. Samurai must use violence with restraint. Without it, you unleash endless bloodshed. The point is to defeat your enemy. That's how you end bloodshed. Tomoe told me the same thing. Ambush! How did Tomoe become your student? She showed up at my dojo with her father's makeshift hunting bow and refused to leave. You didn't turn her away? I tried. But she sank arrow after arrow into my targets. I had never seen talent like hers. She must have had training. Her form was wrong. It would have been useless in a real fight. But she had no fear of missing a shot. She never hesitated. A warrior's spirit? No. The killers. I didn't see until it was too late.
Sensei Ishikawa! You know the name Ishikawa? I do. I have message. Speak. Sensei, all of Hiyoshi Springs will beg for mercy. Like the victims of Hironori now. Silence! <laughs> Hironori Nagao. Didn't he die fighting bandits? It was decades ago. He was reputed to be a great archer. Did he study with you? No. Tomoe is spreading lies. But there's a seed of truth. She wants us to doubt each other. We are all that stands between Hiyoshi Springs and a bloodbath. Then we stand together. Hmm. We'll plan the town's defense at my dojo. Meet me there, and be ready to fight! Good horse, Kage. Sakai. We must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand the fixation on the town. I was born there. Destroying it proves her worth to the Mongols. And humiliates me. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or... We allow the Mongols to take it. Tomoe wins a victory and lets her guard down. Then we strike. Sacrifice Hiyoshi Springs for Tomoe. The sacrifice is worth it! 
Tomoe would agree, Sensei. Fine, Sakai. If you will attack from the north, we should focus our efforts there. Scout elevated positions, place arrows, and... Listen! Did you hear that? One arrow, one death. I wondered when Tomoe's new friends would visit. If the point was to kill us, she would have sent more men. Or the point was not to kill, but to delay. Yoshi Springs, the attack is starting. This way. If I fall today, promise me you will keep hunting Tomoe. I promise, Sensei. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls, the most vulnerable point. If we get there before the Mongols, we can prepare a defense, but it won't be easy. It never is. You two, come here. What is it, my lord? Mongols are heading for Hiroshi Springs. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lord. Good sight lines over here. The Mongols won't be able to flank us. We don't have much time. What can we use to our advantage? Not many options. We'll exploit the ones we have. Those barrels could do some damage. Dry grass. Lure the Mongols in. We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. Hornets' nests. Excellent distraction. Take these flaming arrows. And try not to burn yourself or me. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Get ready. The Mongols will be here soon. They're getting closer. Good. Let's demonstrate the way of the bow for them. They're coming downhill. Take them. One arrow, one death, Sensei. Thank <laughs> you. 
sign of Tomoe. So come. More on the way. Help them cross the Sansu River. There she is. That's Tomoe? Burning the Nagao banner. We can catch her. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get there. She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost, but only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. That was a story to protect Nagao's legacy. There was no saving mine. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted the mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Tomoya all of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. But like everything else, she turned it against me. You'll never redeem Hironori Nago. And you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi Springs. With my new student. I'll need you at Castle Canada. My bow is yours, but Tomoe isn't done yet. We must keep hunting her. We will, Sensei.
quiver or such. If you have hides to spare, I can offer you something in return. Just for you. Farewell. I'll make an offer for your good fortune. There is no substitute for a great bow. A bow without equal. My lord, would that be the blade of Clan Sakai? You know your swords. That is one worth knowing. I've heard tales of its sharp edge and beauty, but I never dreamed I'd see it in person. It has been some time since I trained in a bamboo stand. I would be honored to see your blade in action. The Sakai steel is a truly fine blade, wielded by an even finer swordsman. But training with bamboo will only make you stronger. I'll need strength for what lies ahead. There are bamboo stands throughout the island. They will help sharpen your skills on the journey. Farewell, my lord. Come, my lord. The story of Uchitsune awaits. Long ago, an emperor and his palace were plagued by a winged demon. The emperor sent for Uchitsune, the most renowned archer of his time, who wielded a bow blessed by Akami. When the demon next came, Uchitsune was ready, long bow in hand. His aim was truer, and his arrows flew farther than any archers in Japan. Uchitsune loosed a single arrow. It pierced the demon's heart. As it fell to the ground, it cursed Uchitsune with its final breath. 
Soon after, Ujitsune saw the forms of the demon everywhere. His legendary ball never missed. But each arrow that hit its mark was met with a very human scream. The trail of bodies led to his capture. Though many called for Uchitsune's death, the Emperor felt pity for him. Uchitsune was banished to Tsushima Island. He died years later, alone and forgotten by all but a few. The demon slaying Longbow has remained hidden here since his passing. Some say it awaits a worthy master. Others believe it still holds the demon's curse. Cursed or not, the bow sounds powerful. Take care, my lord. The bow inspires darkness in those who seek it. I'll bear that in mind. The question is where to begin looking. To quiet his mind, Uchitsune often walked the coast, obsessed with the blue hydrangeas that grew there. Perhaps they'll provide a clue. Blue hydrangeas, like the musician mentioned, I must be close. Hmm. Strange, that tomb is cracked open. Surrounded by blue flowers, which is in this bowl could be there. Which is in this resting place. Searching for the cursed bow. It leads only to death. He wore the mask of a Tengu demon. And that was a warning shot. Can't let my guard down. Fancy moves won't save you! Regret 
하루 flowers.
That island is covered in blue flowers. Surrounded by blue flowers. Which is in this boat could be there. Continue your search, and Tsushima will fall. Enough. Speak plainly. This is your last chance. Leave the boat alone. Quickly, come on.
I'll drive the Mongols from our home. After that, I'll worry about the fishes. Curse of Wichitsune. 